Alright, so Mysterious Man back with another freaking video. Today we're going to be reviewing um, Super freaking Mario World, or Super, <coughs> Super Mario 64 on the freaking Nintendo 64. First of all, we get a little note from Peach. For some reason, she writes in a font like a very computery looking font rather than you know just writing normally and then you get this big long boring intro it takes about I don't know, a minute maybe two or three minutes something like that and you just have to sit here and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait and, wait. and it's so boring you know People always say, oh, Mario is so action-packed. No, it's, it's just a waiting platformer. It's a waiting-based platformer game. The camera controls are terrible no matter how you cut it. You have a couple options here. You have, as you can see down in the bottom, you have the Lakitu view, which is from far away. You can make it even farther away. And, of course, you can turn the camera around like that. Rather than just being able to hold the button in, though, to change the camera, you have to keep tapping it. It's really annoying. And then you have the Mario view, which is, like, from behind the shoulder. Yeah, a behind-the-shoulder view in a freaking platformer. Now, does that make any sense whatsoever? No. No, it doesn't. Um... And then you get another waiting period here. He talks for a while. And then you go inside. Um, you get another waiting period because Bowser has to talk to you. And then you finally get to play the game. Now, when I was a kid, you know, I was pro I was like number one in my class, you know. I was... I was considered basically a genius. I was in all the gifted classes. I was in like the higher advanced placement, things like that, you know. I was considered like a super genius basically. And um I myself could not figure this game out. I I was in here. I was jumping around. I was I was actually one of the first people in the entire world to figure out the trick where you go like this and you jump up the stairs backwards and it makes you go flying up the stairs real quick. And I probably spent about a month in this room just jumping around trying to figure out what to do. And you know, of course I went in here. I didn't think any I didn't think much of this room because I mean, all you really got is a picture on the wall over there. You got some of these. You have to master three important jumping techniques. First, try the tri triple jump. Blah, 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 blah. And, you know, of course I tried that. I tried doing all kinds of stuff. You know, the last thing that ever crossed my reality-based mind was... You know, jump into a picture. So, I finally ended up finding this, probably by mistake, after about, I don't know, months and months of research, uh, diligent patience, you know? Like, I finally ended up figuring that out, and, uh... And zero out of ten. That's all I have to say about it because um, that's not realistic. When in real life have you ever jumped into a picture so that you can go bounce around on some happy little platforms and you know collect red coins and avoid avoid giant freaking uh, cannonballs? Have you ever done that? Have you ever done that? No? Then stop pretending it's a good game, okay? It's awful. It's awful. This game sucks so bad, okay? 
and you guys hail it as one of the greatest platformers of all time, and I'll never understand that. It's so stupid. And of course, that zero out of ten was gameplay. Now the music. Let me see if I can. Well, I'm turning this up. I don't think it'll. I don't think you guys can hear it any better. But trust me, you're not missing anything. The music's probably the worst part of this game. It's like. It's just awful. It's like. Na 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 na. Like you know how in New Super Mario Brothers Wii. They have that little sound that constantly keeps happening throughout the music, that wah, 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 wah sound. Like, they have, like, a little sound kind of like that in this game, except it's a little bit more annoying in this game. Probably has something to do with the fact that new Super Mario Bros. Wii, at least it's the newer game, so thus whatever happens in that game is inherently better course but um anyway music zero out of ten graphics zero out of ten all you have to do is look at it to see that the graphics are zero out of ten um and it's a mario game story not applicable which really just means zero out of ten because you know i'm not i'm not prepared to give mario a free pass just because it has a crappy story oh well, it has a crappy story, so don't hold it against it. Just say that uh, it doesn't deserve to be critiqued for its story, right? Yeah, that's real fair. Story, 0 out of 10, okay? And I don't care what you Nintendrones do about it. <sighs> and then you get this long, boring race that you have to do. Let's get this star, and then that's going to be the end of this review. And you guys know I've beaten this game a million times. I've done speed runs. I've done pretty much, I've exerted every possibility that there is within this game. And so don't try to come on here and say that I'm not good at it or that I'm not doing it right. No, it just sucks, okay? That's all there is to it. The game sucks. Now, I got here at 44, 44 seconds, okay? Now, look how long you have to wait. We're just going to sit here and freaking wait. I'm serious. For the turtle. This is a waiting-based video game. You don't ever get to really do anything particularly fun in this game. You just wait for this guy, wait for that guy, wait for someone else to talk. Wait for this to happen, wait for this to happen, wait for that to happen, wait for something else to happen, wait for someone else to talk, and then you play the game for about 10 seconds, and then you're freaking shoehorned into another uh, waiting sequence, okay? Overall score for this game, I'm going to have to give it a 0 out of 10. Probably one of the worst games of all time.